All right, welcome back to another episode of Even Evaluates. Uh, this time we'll be looking at uh, Stoyano's 5607. Uh, it, it's been a while since he actually asked me to look at his um, at his run. At the time he had a 58, um, I think a mid 58, and now he's got a low 56. So there's been some time uh, in between. I do apologize, my friend, but uh, you know, I've been very busy with GTA Marathon stuff, and uh, you know. Other, other things have gotten in the way, but uh, I did promise that I would look at your v VOD, so here's the newest one. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Um, there's no sound or anything, so I'll likely just put some music over it, uh, just so there isn't, you know, just silence, voids for a while in between if I don't have much to say. Um, as a quick reminder, if you, if you also want to have your run looked at, it doesn't have to necessarily be Vice City or it can be a different category. Um, you know, I have, not to flex, but I have plenty of friends, you know, I'm, I'm a really big deal nowadays. Um, so yeah, I can, I can definitely bring someone else on board that is more qualified to talk about a certain run if you don't feel like I am, um, necessarily the guy to do it. But yeah, so find a way to contact me. And, uh, we'll start off with just simple stuff. Uh, this is very easy to know. Um, but as you can see here, like, if you've like watched or played any any kind of driving related or racing title uh, you'll be familiar with racing lines if you're not you should really look them up because they apply here too because there's a lot of fast-paced driving uh this is like the widest turn you could possibly take uh if you're gonna come out on the wide end of the road like if you're turning right like this then you should turn onto what they call like the inside and that would be like an optimal racing line. You can also slow down and just hug the edge to cut the corner. That's also fine. But yeah, going like all the way around like this is uh, it's very slow. So getting here at 43 is fine. Let's say you were a bit late because you took kind of a, a very wide route, but... Parking was fine. Everything else is pretty good so far. Windows security server service is turned off. Try not to get uh, try not to get hacked. I've just noticed there isn't a timer, which is interesting. So I, I guess I'll just keep an eye on the video timer and use my own reference. I guess maybe you have like S keys over the timer, which is a bit strange because, you know, you, you have all this, this space that you don't use on the layout, but there's no room for a timer, I guess. I don't know. Very bizarre. And it just seems to me like when you're driving the bikes, you kind of don't have the confidence in yourself. Like, so here, the, the bike is perfectly straight, right? Like, you are, you are on track to be driving along the edge of the road. And then you pull left, and then you pull back again. It's like, were you trying to dodge the lamppost? Like, you know, it's on the path. You're on the road. It's, you're not going to hit it. It's like you don't have confidence in, your, in yourself to kind of stick to these lines that you are putting out for yourself. Like, you seem to not really be able to make up your mind, and then you're constantly moving left and right, and that causes you to slow down. Like, here as well, it's exactly the same thing. Like, you're, you're driving very, very safe. I mean, which is fine, but at a 56 level, you, you know... Um, you, you should be past kind of driving like you're going for sub-1, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. Like, this is very... This is, this is the driving that I would expect from someone who's, like, going for their first sub-1 time. Like, they don't have a lot of confidence because they don't have a lot of, like, hours in the game and whatnot. And they don't know what they're capable of. Yeah, it's... <laughs> 
It's exactly the same thing there. Like, you seem to double guess yourself. Like, you seem to pick a route and then you reconsider and then you reconsider the reconsideration and over and over again until you hit something. Like, you you lost from, from the time that you started the rampage, like at the start of the party, and just those drives alone, you lost like over 10 seconds there on that drive compared to like most people at your level. It's kind of interesting that you use, like... So, you use look behind, or, like, look to the side to despawn traffic, but you don't do it in the places where it, like, actually kind of matters. So, like, here is a good place to do it, because you don't want to get shafted at the, the junction, right? But, like, here is another place to do it, because there's another junction right in front of you. So, it makes sense to not want to spawn anything there, right? And then, here it makes sense to do it, because there's yet another section where cars are going to be crossing the street, and you need to go through them. It, it seems like almost inconsistent where you where you choose to actually do anything. I guess. I don't know. I don't know if maybe you've just like you're slowly implementing the kind of look behind into your into your muscle memory, which is fine. Um, but again, like at this level, I would expect some kind of consistency there. I guess like maybe as time goes on. I need to be more lenient with the times that people get because obviously as like more and more optimizations come along like a 56 will become less intermediate and more of a you know more beginner and you know so on and so forth as the world record goes down and down but it, like right now I would still consider a 56 to be an intermediate level so yeah the, the same thing at, at this level like there is no reason for you to start the rampage this late like I, I refuse to believe that you can't consistently make the timing with not just like as soon as you gain control pressing the replay. Like there's no way I, I refuse to believe it. At a 56 level, there's no need to just lose like five seconds here for no reason. Like I, I, I would bet my house keys on the fact that you can consistently get here with like way more than 22 seconds left on the timer. Like I would be so surprised if this was a struggle for you at this level. So yeah, like, starting the rampage that late is what I teach to, like, beginners. Like, actual beginners who have never done a run before. You should, you should definitely have more confidence in yourself at this point. I mean, what time are you hitting ammunition? 5.11? Yeah, it's like... This is, this is fine pace so far, like... You haven't made any major mistakes, you know, you're not super far behind. Well, that was a major mistake, but still, like... Let's see what time you hit the, the cutscene here. Like, yeah, you have 10 seconds of leeway here. So even with that crash, unless you play extremely poorly in the next 20 seconds, you are going to be more than fine. Like, you have so much time. So you should have taken that rancher. It maybe looked angry. I couldn't really tell. Um, but so like, let's let's do a few things here. So when the camera resets here, you're now looking like this way, right? Because this is where the camera is facing. If you're sprinting and pressing W and A, you're just running off onto the grass rather than like walking towards your goal. So you're running away from where you're supposed to go. So, you should be actually, like, strafing backwards here rather than sprinting forwards. Because you're just going to be running, like, off onto the grass. So, as you can see, then you have to run all the way back again. Like, there's no need to run all the way out here. And then, yeah, here, you should have taken this rancher. Uh, this fixed spawn is fine, but it shouldn't be your first priority because it can have an alarm. Which then means that you can't get a phone call because you get a wanted level and all that kind of bollocks. You should just stand in front of this rancher and if it isn't angry, take it. You would have been fine here. So, you got lucky. It didn't have the alarm, but, like, you know, there's no need to take this risk when you get a perfectly good vehicle right in front of you. But even still, even with all of these mistakes, you still have, like, four seconds of leeway. 
with the crash and by losing like five seconds worth of mistakes afterwards. So yeah, there is absolutely no reason to be starting the rampage that late. And I don't know why you played a replay there either. Like, you are in time. You are so far in time. I guess because you... Okay, there's... So, I, I think there's, you have, like, you don't have a core understanding of how this kind of works, this section here. So, you are, like, playing replays in order to make sure that you were in time for five seconds, right? But that is completely nonsensical. Even if you're used to doing five seconds, like, it doesn't matter. The, the five seconds is only a guideline for when you should be entering the marker. It doesn't actually matter when you enter. It matters when you skip the cutscene. As long as you skip the cutscene at the right time, it's completely okay. So you don't need to go in at five seconds. You can go in at three seconds or four seconds, depending on when you skip the cutscene. Like, it doesn't matter. The The issue is that you, you're on a timer here, right? Like, the you can only go as fast as this Rampage timer. And the only way to slow yourself down is by playing replays. The only way to lose time in this section, once you've started the rampage, is to play a replay. And the only reason, if you see runners on stream, they play replays, is because they're not going to make it on time otherwise. It's like an absolute last resort, okay? So, if you answer the phone call at more than 22 seconds on the timer, no reason to play a replay. Absolutely zero. There is not a single reason on the planet. Well, actually, there are a few exceptions, but at this level, no reason to. You have four seconds of leeway here. Like, I guess two, because you threw the Molotov. Like, you are on time here. There is no need to play a replay. All you did was just lose time for no reason doing that. Like, great, you were here within five seconds, which might be your reference. But again, at this level, like, I mean, you entered at six anyway, so, like... You did all of the setup to get the perfect reference, and then you didn't even use the reference. So, like, that just proves my point. These references are only guidelines for beginners. So, yeah. Like, I I'm glad you got through this segment. Like, again, the time is okay, but you just threw away seconds after seconds after seconds for no reason. And I think it's just because you don't understand how the, se the section actually works. So, so here looking to the side is fine, but again, you're falling into the trap of like, yes, there's no traffic, but every time you see Tommy, like, chilling like this on the bike rather than leaning forward, that's times where you are just like, just holding W, right? Like, you're not optimally leaning forwards because you're moving left and right so much by adjusting. Like, look how many times that you like micro adjust here just to make sure that you're on the perfect straight. And in that time, because you're not leaning forward, you're going back to the normal cap speed of the Faggio. And at that point, like, it's not even faster to do this. You might as well just look forward and risk the traffic. So, yeah. Like, you, you really need to assess these drives. Because you lose a lot of time here. And here... So, if you... If you don't have the bike with you, which you don't because you threw the Molotov, there's no reason to, like, shoot an extra time to make sure you don't fail the mission uh, for Riot. As soon as this... As soon as you shoot, like, bang and it blows up, shoot the barrel. And I pointed at my monitor. You can't see me pointing. But shoot the barrel instantly. Because the time in between Tommy falling over and then dying and the mission like where it would fail, the mission has already passed because it's like during the falling down animation. The only reason you need to time it is if you have the bike with you because the bike instantly kills you when it blows up. So like, again, this was all executed well, but yeah, like you, you seem to not really understand the strats that you're executing. Like, you golded that segment, which which baffles me. Like, your your potential is, like, 20 seconds faster here. Because you, you threw away so much time, but you somehow golded. I mean, maybe these are, like, new splits. I don't know. A again, here, like, oh my god. 
th- this might just be an hour of this, and I might have to like apologize for it being like, but it needs to be drilled into your head. Like here in this segment, this is such an easy segment. The only way you lose time is by not answering the phone call, right? Like you, it's it's a twenty. What is it? Twenty second timer from you dying to the phone coming in. You can't speed that up. Like all you can do is just sprint as fast as you can, right? And then you're on a timer from how long the phone call starts from when you answer it to when it finishes and you can get on the bike. So the only way that you can possibly lose time on this segment is by not answering the phone for some reason. Why are you letting it ring? It doesn't make any sense. You just lost another three seconds for no reason. Answer the phone immediately. Like, I can understand if maybe you think that you can't walk over this without jumping, but you can. If you just walk into it, you'll just go up it like surely you've seen people do that in runs answer the phone like <laughs> this is this is really silly I, I this is one of the strangest pbs i've ever watched like the mechanical skill is there but like I, i'm watching this and my head is just exploding okay nice tree jump that 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 makes me uh, you know Partially feel better. I do like uh, do like a good old tree exit for the boys. Yeah, you you've got to look at these driving driving things. Like, if you watch somebody who has like a fifty nine and you watch the way they do that turn, it will be night and day better than that. Like, I don't know. Like, I've I've done it before where I've drilled like just driving this route from like Cortez through to the garage, do the garage exit, go to Gonzalez, and then go back again, like through the hospital, around the back, to Cortez, and just drive in a circle, and just do this route over and over again until you get good times. Because, yeah, like, this is... This is really slow. There's so many, like, amateur mistakes here that I would never expect to see. Like, it's just... Look at how, like, non-fluid that is. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's like, you hit the brake, then you turn, then you hit the brake and turn, then you hit the brake and turn. It's like, it's like you're a robot who has to do everything iteratively, you know? It's like you only have one hand when you're playing. I mean, that sounds really rude, but I don't know how else to describe it. And it's like here as well, like, you're hitting the, you're like, not accelerating off the roof. Why? Like, the whole point is to go forwards, right? Like, am I going insane? Like, when you drop off the roof, why Why do you, like, slow down when you drop off? You need to go forward, so drive... Accelerate, man. I don't know. It, it's like you've forgotten your objective midway through, uh, through the time that you're doing the mission. Like, you're forgetting where you need to go, and you need to, like, stop and check a, check a map or something. You know, if any of this appears as, like, rude or toxic, I apologize. But, like, trust me when I say, like, it is so important to emphasize, like, the level of the mistakes that are being made. And, like, what really needs to be addressed. So then, like, it can be drilled into your head and fixed. Because, like, it is so easy to build up poor muscle memory that you don't think is a problem until somebody points it out to you. That it's like, as I say, it's so important to just drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. As to like, this is bad. Stop doing this. Because yeah, like you'll just lose 30 seconds on every drive and wonder why you never actually improve. So this stuff is fine. Like you ha you had a feeling that the, like, what is this? An Esperanto or some shit? I can't really tell. Uh, you had a feeling that it was going to turn because it moved to the right and then it means it's going to like pull left. That's fine. But you don't need to hit the brakes. Just go around it. Like just go right. You don't need to stop and wait for every car to go past. Like, you know, you're not trying to do a run where it's like you're a citizen. Like that. Like, you went around to the right of it. That's perfect. Do that on every car. Don't stop. Again, that's just like super safe. You can, you can go so much faster there. So it's like all the actual mission mechanics are fine. But you're just losing like 20 seconds on every drive. For no reason. 
all right, all right. All right. Bit of a bit of a spam here. I do that as well, to be fair. <laughs> it's it's like you you panic. Like there's a you're like a deer in headlights. Like here you see the rancher, and you're already on track to this like just move. I again I'm putting my monitor. Fuck. But you can see like you're already on track to lean and move out the way, and then you just stop. Like you just panic. You just freeze completely. Like, you've never seen a car there before. Like, you've never been blocked in your life. I don't know. Like, yeah, you need to drill these drives over and over again. But then you pull this off. Like, that's really hard to do. That optimal mall shootout. But you can do that. But then, you like, if a car pulls in front of you, you don't know what to do. It's really bizarre. Really, really bizarre. You don't need to swag exit there. Remember your um, remember your teleporting, so the bike doesn't need to be facing backwards. So there's no need to slow down there. You can just do the tree exit. It's the easiest way to dismount. <sighs> Alright, not too bad. Nice. That was good. That's the the kind of optimal way to to pick up the clothes there. Very you know, there's a there's a bonus point in my book. Yeah, I mean just like look at these drives. It's so like, that is like the slowest turn possible there. Like, you just slam the brakes for no reason. And then here, look how far, look how far left you are. Look how far Tommy has to lean to make up for that. And the whole time that you're doing this to like over adjust for the fact that you're so far off the beaten path, you're not leaning forward and you're not gaining any speed. See, so yeah, I don't know what time you hit the mark here, 12.40. Like, you can easily be looking into the low 12s there. Like, easily. Just by drilling these drives a little bit. But yeah, now, th now it's less like... Now the run is less PCJ drive focused. Um... Hopefully we'll get to see more uh, more good or bad like actual mission mechanics and whatnot. But I mean if this ends up just becoming a lesson on like driving the PCJ then That's also fine I suppose. Also using R to jump, what on earth? I mean it's better than shift I guess. Is it? I don't know. They're both kind of cringe. Yeah, this is all fine. Uh, the only thing to mention here in terms of like mission mechanics is that like in between the the guys that you kill here and while you wait for the other van to spawn, uh, you can grab the health up top on the roof. Slightly more efficient. I mean, you'll never need it, but there's no reason to not grab it. So yeah, this is all fine. Footage, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, because of the double gold, I'm assuming that, like, 
either this is somehow the cleanest run of your life, or um, or or it's like new splits. I would assume it's the latter. But still, like you you have a long way you have a long way to go here. So right there, as you saw when you turned around, like I feel like I say this on every episode because no one does it for some reason. Uh, you can turn around there as soon as you like get up or whatever from the gate zip. And uh, you can easily glitch a car. I don't know why you... Okay. So here you're like playing the close replays. You're playing them very sl slow for some reason. But then you like, you were mashing the cutscene when there was nothing to skip. And then here when, <laughs> when the cutscene is skippable, you're not pressing anything. It's like you were you were pressing skip cutscene in the fade when there's no cutscene, but then when the cutscene starts, you weren't pressing anything to skip it, and you just let it run for a few seconds. Like, just basic stuff like that is gonna add up and just lose you so much time for no reason. But yeah, so I'd always recommend glitching one car here, the way I described, like just turning around and immediately shooting it, and then playing the replay as you run, because you'll hear the car. Yeah, you'll hear the car door open. So this is a minor thing, but I mean the only reason I notice is because you have S keys on. There's no need to hold. Uh, one, there's no need to hold W, and two, there's no need to hold left mouse there. Uh, if you hold left mouse, obviously you're going to shoot, and that could potentially alert a cop, which there is one right behind you, and you know you got quite lucky to not aggro him and potentially screw yourself over. You should just press F and hold right mouse. So it's the same idea, you still don't move Tommy or get in the car. Like, it's the exact same movement. The only difference is that you don't accidentally shoot something or like pop your own tire or something. So yeah, just hold right mouse and then turn around and shoot him. Yeah, rest of that was fine. Uh, here is another perfect opportunity to get some more cars. Uh, there's usually one on this intersection because they're not moving if they're stopping at the lights, so you can glitch them really easily. If not, you know, there's one here that you can glitch for free. Um, you know, there can be some here as well. There's usually, like, you can get one or two glitch cars for free. That one you could have glitched. And it's just going to make your runs far, far easier because you're going to have no traffic in this in these segments. Because, like, right now you should have, like, three glitch cars. And it makes the rest of these missions so much easier. So there you can play a close replay just before the cutscene hits and you can gain control um, and drive for a little bit. All you do is hold sprint and A for a bit just to turn left. You may as well do it at this level. It's very easy and it saves a couple of seconds. No reason not to. And again, thank God for S keys. There is absolutely no reason to mash F to get out of the car. Like trying to hit the perfect frame. Just hold it. Just hold the button. And you will jump out at the next possible frame. Just hold the button. There's no need to mash. But the rest of that was good. All right, first heli flight time. This is what uh, separates the men from the boys usually.
All right, so this is uh, this is where I wish we had like live audience retention. You know, I could like ask the audience, "What is the problem here?" and they can all shout at me, and you know, I can go, "Yeah, good job," because you know, it's again something that I mention every single time. Do not ever approach the mansion at this angle. You need to approach straight, like. You need to be lined up straight with either the marker or, you know, the railing here, this railing. Because if you pull in from this angle, like, again, you panic and you try to fix it. And then you hit the roof and then you come down at a weird angle anyway, spin out, damage your helicopter. Just land straight. Don't come in at like a 45 degree angle. You are always going to fuck yourself over doing that. Every time. I should, I should make this, like, a game show or something, you know, like Jeopardy. <laughs> it's like, our survey says everyone can pick out, like, the right answers for what's wrong. Okay, so it, it seemed... It seemed there that because of how, like, slowly you were playing the replays, you actually... Like, stop the phone call dialogue from playing there, I think. So again, like, that's the only way you can slow yourself down there. Is by doing what you did, which is just playing replays so slowly. Like, just press F3, F3, F3. There's no need to, like, F3, wait two seconds. F3, wait two seconds. Like, you don't have time to be, to be waiting around like that. Alright, let's skip forward a bit. <clears throat> What's the problem here, everyone? Says the Jeopardy host, English Ben. If you said... I, I, we, we should do it like a follow-along at home kind of thing. Where, like, I mention that there's a problem, and then I give you, you know, a couple of seconds to think about it, and everyone at home can go, I know the answer. So, yeah, let, let, let's do that. So, if you said uh, he didn't blow up these barrels, you would be absolutely correct. Um, when you're running up at the end of this mission... If you don't blow up these barrels, there is a chance that they will be shot and they will kill you uh, because they do 83 and a half damage, you have 78 health, and you would have died and killed your run for no reason. Blow up those barrels. It's very rare, but there is no reason to kill a run there. That was pretty good. Pretty good order to kill those. Oh, nice. Chooses not to kill Lance, okay. I mean, at, uh, again, at this level, there's no reason to not kill Lance. Like, it's consistent. It's easy to do. There's absolutely no reason to not kill him. And as soon as you grab the briefcase, I think you did. Maybe it's kind of hard to see because you did it at the last second. Can we check? Going, going frame by frame. Okay, you, yeah, you kind of did. Um, but yeah, so, like... As you saw, when you when you picked up the... Like, as you went to pick up the briefcase, you... you Because you had your fists out, you grabbed the... The Kruger automatically, which kind of messed you up. What I would always recommend doing is, like, when you gain control... And you jump out of the helicopter... Um... Like here, right? When you gain control, you automatic, at, automatically get given the M60. What I always do is I always switch up, so I have the Uzi out, and I can sprint. And then it doesn't make you automatically pick up the Kruger when you go up to the top. And it allows you to look south a lot easier. 
Because you, you saw that you slowed down before you grabbed the briefcase. Which lost you at, like, you know, half a second or so. But yeah, always make sure you look south at the end of the cutscene. I, I think you just about pulled it off, but it, it was more awkward than it had to be. And then there, like, you, you waited for two seconds before switching your inventory. Like, if you had the Uzi out, none of that would have happened. That's fine. Good enough. No real complaints there. But the same thing, the minor minor thing applies here. Like, you're, you're looking behind, which is fine because you don't want police boats to spawn. But look at the angle you're driving. Like, you're not driving towards the marker. <laughs> like, this is literally just hold W. There, there is no way to speed this up. But you are, if you're driving at the wrong angle and then you have to correct later, you're losing time. So if you're going to look backwards, make sure that you have the angle that you're driving towards the marker first. What? What were you doing there? You just stopped. Just forgot what like day it was or something i don't know you you, you were like oh i left the oven on just just chilling and again here man the only way to lose time in this segment is to not answer the phone call for god's sake answer the fucking phone when it rings why are you waiting like four seconds before you answer it and then you're gonna get up here and then you're gonna be waiting anyway like, why did you delay the phone call just to stand there anyway? It doesn't make any sense. I, I simply do not get it. By the way, real quick, faster, go through here. The whole point of this mission is that you don't take the route that these people take in any circumstance. And again, here, auto-scroller. There is no way to speed this up. The only way to, sl way to slow it down is by playing a replay. Like, it's fine for beginners, but at your level, you're losing time in auto-scrollers. Like, the whole point of an auto-scroller is that you cannot possibly save or lose time. But you are losing time by playing the replay here. Like, yeah, it makes this easier, but who cares? Like, you're at, you're at a 56 level now. Never, you should not be doing this. And then, and then you made like a super amateur mistake as well here, like... Uh, here, like, never blow up this boat, because if it, if it lands in front of you and Lunch drives into it, it can flip and kill you. Like, it can kill you both, and that's just dead run for no reason. You should kill the gunner and let the driver live. So he just like drives alongside you. Like, again, you are just creating unnecessary risks for yourself during times where it should just be the easiest segment in the game. But you're making it difficult for no reason.
Jesus. Okay, yeah, you really need to practice, like, driving in general and flying. Like, when you come down here, like, it was all going super well, but then you just, like, didn't slow down at all. You just landed and just let yourself fly forwards. Like, here, you need to hold S and E to turn around. And you also slow down at the same time. Whereas here, because you just pressed E, you just kept gliding into the wall and just damaged the shit out of your helicopter and then spent 10 seconds flipping around. Like, slow down. It's not a race. It's not a speed run or anything. You know, slow down. That was better. I guess you, like, you wasn't sure if you saved the replay properly, so you, you know, made sure it was there, which is fine. I do that sometimes. But, uh, better safe than sorry, I suppose. But that was such a rough landing. Like, the first one was decent, and then this one, you just slammed down so hard. Like, this is how people's like, heli blows up on COT1. Because you just do so much unnecessary damage to it. So, that was unfortunate. That was that was definitely uh, not really your fault. Just so happened that you the like the door of the cheater or whatever came off and like flipped you into it. That was definitely unfortunate. So still like a mid twenty eight so yes sir uh, finish, which is fine. But again, like, you could you could be like a minute quicker here. You have easy potential to just be so much faster if you just don't make all these like really, really beginner tier mistakes. I also give you a quick word of advice here, like it doesn't end up mattering, but you would have killed yourself here. If this guy was angry, you would have killed yourself. Never stand in front of a car that you are going to glitch. Because obviously it's random whether he stops and get out or he's going to run you over and that would have insta-killed you. This was a really dumb mistake again. Like you got away with it. But you know, you see that Greenwood, he was angry. If you'd have shot that Hermes and he would have and the, or it would have been the Greenwood like the other way around, you would have died for no reason. Absolutely no reason to kill yourself here. And you already have like five glitch cars, you don't need another one. Like so Again, the the only way to lose time on this phone call segment here is to not be at the helicopter when the phone call finishes. And because you try and glitch so many cars, look how much time you lose here. Like let's count, let's count the seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven seconds. On a uh, on a segment, you know, where it's it's just a timer. And on on these flights as well, like. I don't know, like, you just need to drill these over and over again. You know, at this point, at this level, like, I'm sure you know, that the Malibu is, like, northeast of Avery. Why are you flying southeast? Why are you flying this way? Malibu is over here! And then you end up turning left and going north anyway. Why? It's just a straight line. Like, why are you flying towards Starfish? It doesn't make any sense.
Like, you go in the complete wrong direction and then have to over-adjust and then you start panicking and then that's how you start losing all this time because you just... You have to, like, overcompensate for everything. And, like, what was that? <laughs> like, like... <laughs> The only thing you're doing here is listening to phone call dialogue and standing in the marker waiting for the mission to pass. Oh my god, like, I feel, if I had a quid for every time I'm gonna say this line, I would be a fucking millionaire at this point. But it needs to be said, like, there's no other way to put this. The only way to lose time here is to walk out of the marker. What were you thinking? Why did you do that? There is absolutely no reason. Like, this, like, that is ridiculous. Why did you just throw away another second? It's it's like you're honestly deliberately doing it at this point. Like, it's like you're trolling me. Like, why did you do the only thing that loses time in this really easy segment? Like, <laughs> you had to actively do something to lose time. Like, the optimal thing to do there is nothing. Like, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I I'm not even comment gonna comment on the, the taking a phone call during this mission. <laughs> but yeah, like that is is comical. Okay, so the the biggest problem here is do not shoot this like through this last guy. Use the chainsaw. Because, one, you're closer to him, which means you can trigger Lance earlier. And two, if you shoot through him and you crit him, you can also kill Lance. Again, like, this is an unnecessary risk. It's slower to do. Stop doing this. Because, yeah, if you put one too many bullets into this guy, you kill Lance, you fail the mission, you kill your run. For no reason. And also, when you trigger Lance, turn around. Because then you don't have to turn around after the cutscene is done. Why are you turning left here? Why are you spinning left? You need to go right! <laughs> you need to go this way! Stop going the opposite way! Goodness me. You know what? I'll give you props there. That uh, that landing was it, it was slow. It was methodical. But in terms of placement, pretty good. You know, sliding isn't a big deal here, so if you don't get it after a couple of tries, just yeah, just run. It only saves like two seconds. It's really not a big deal.
So, so this right here that you're doing... Okay, I don't know why you jumped, but <laughs> whatever. Like, that what you did there to like, where you run with the grenades and then chainsaw the guy when you get right next to him. Do it for the final guy on death row as well. Like, you'll... It's so much more consistent and you'll, you'll save time doing it as well. But yeah, aside from the jump, which I assume was just a, you know, a misclick, a mechanical error, that was good. I'm, I'm impressed. You've earned some brownie points back in my book. All right, so a good example of like how much time, you, you can easily see how much time you lose on the helicopter flight by seeing what shakedown mall entry time you get. So like your parking for the heli was decent. So like you can get, you know, a like a 412, a 414 uh, entry. I forget what the optimal one is. I think like 414 is good. Um, I don't know what like the best possible time is, but you know, you can use it as a reference for like when you should be entering the mall and when you actually enter the mall. So you'll see how much time you, you lose on on the entry here. So, 410. So, not too bad, but still a couple of seconds la lost on the, the flight uh, compared to optimal. And I think the reason was simply just because you flew a bit too high. Like, there wasn't really much need for it. Uh, there's also no need to switch to the M4 there. The Uzi is better. Those look good to me. Yep. And here is where you use the M4. If, if you're wondering why you use the Uzi before and not the M4, or I guess now you're using the Uzi, okay, it doesn't make any sense. All right, so don't use the M4 at the start. The reason you use the Uzi is just because it's like the best weapon to, to do these windows with, right? Like it has the highest rate of fire. So you can fling the maximum amount of bullets per second at the windows, which is optimal, right? The reason you use the M4 for these three and these two is just because of the range. The M4 has a really high range. So what you can do is you can like crouch down, shoot one, two, three, play a replay to reload, and then turn around and shoot these two, which then like triggers the ending section of the mission quicker. But one, two, three, you spend three extra seconds before you blow up or destroy the final set of windows, and then you spend all that time standing here when the mission is ending. So that is just more seconds pissed away. And for this, like, I'm so glad that you used uh, S keys for this because your your button presses are so bizarre. So here, you you don't press, you don't spam, like, buy property. That, that's not how this works. You, you, you press your buy property and then press F3 one frame later. Whereas, like, you're pressing, like, F3 and then just spamming buy property, which is, like, really inconsistent. Don't do that. I don't know if you can hear that construction outside. Uh, I don't know if the mic picks it up or not, but if so, I apologize. The lads are working out back. We'll point it out again. You're driving straight towards, towards, like, you know, the, the mansion. Great. Pull left. Why? I guess because you hit the wall and then you tried to, like, pull back in. I don't know. Like, it's just a straight line. And again here. Answer the phone call. Why do you jump over first? Again, we'll count the seconds from when you should have taken the phone call. One, two, three, four seconds lost for no reason. And then you're just going to stand here and wait at the end. You just stand here. Like, why are you not answering the phone call at the start? You're just standing here letting the time tick away. It doesn't make any sense. 
answer the phone call as soon as possible. It is a timer that you are waiting on, so the earlier you answer it, the, the less time you will lose. If you answer it late like that, you're just going to be stood waiting for it to end at the end anyway. And lose all that time. Yeah, I'm going to become English Ben, the, the broken record, but it has to be said. So, same thing again here, like, when the direction you are facing, when you lose control here and you start the cutscene, is where you will be facing when you end the cutscene. It's like, you run so far out, and then flick at, like, the last second, like, let's see how many frames that you have here. Like, you switch to the M4 two frames before the cutscene starts. Like, why are you giving yourself such little time? Like, as soon as you throw the grenade there, switch to the Uzi. Crouch here as soon as you get past the tree. Press E once, and then spend the rest of the time looking here to where the guys are going to spawn. Because otherwise, you're going to have to... As soon as you gain control, you're not going to be looking at them, and then you're going to have to flick like this to hit them. It's nonsensical, and you're just making this way more difficult than it has to be. And here as well, like, goodness me. I, I know you know the curb is here, right? And that's completely fine. But, like, slowing down here? You are, like, 100 meters away. Like, this is so slow. You're going, like, 5 miles per hour around. Like, you, you really need to have more confidence here if you ever want to improve. Like, you're driving like you've never done that route before. You're doing it like it's the first time. Like, I don't know if it's just a lack of practice or what, but... So, uh, it's worth pointing out, I know you only did it like a little bit, but I mean, I've got nothing else to say here, so... There's no point in looking behind here, uh, to, if you're chewing it to try and not have traffic spawn. Uh, because at this level, like when you have all the glitch cars and stuff, all the blockades and the police spawns, like the traps, they're scripted. So, like, they're not random traffic generation, uh, like, that you can look away from normally. Uh, so there's no need to look behind to try and stop them from spawning. It doesn't help. Like, if you're just looking behind to check if there's someone behind you, then that's fine. But you know, I, I can't really tell because I don't know the context. But it's worth mentioning.
Nice, good parking. Yeah. Always make sure you park in or like way out of the way of the, the cafe. Otherwise the bike can blow up and uh, block Lance. So smart to park it inside. It's also just optimal, there's no reason not to. Okay, so, what is the problem here, audience at home? If you answered, uh, you know, not taking the same route you've already taken in this run, you are absolutely correct. Think about it. You have driven on Shakedown, you, sorry, you have flown on Shakedown from the mansion to where you just parked, right? Why are you not taking the same route back? <laughs> like... The reason you take this route is because it is the fastest way. Why are you taking a different route back to the same fucking place? It does not make any sense. And then, like, you go around to the left, and then you're pulling right here, and then pulling left again. So, like, correct yourself. Just stick to the right. Just do what you've already done on Shakedown, but just backwards. Oh, 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 excuse me. All right, this is a mid mid forty two um, cop on finish. So with a with a decent late game, this would have been a fifty four. So I'm interested to see exactly uh, what what goes on here. And I swear to God, if you get out of this helicopter and you don't answer the phone call, like, oh, it, it's even worse. Oh my God, okay. Oh my God, I, I, <laughs> Jesus. I am gonna say it over and over again. The earlier you answer the phone call, the less time you lose. Why are you driving, flying all the way through here? Look at any run on the leaderboard and you will see nobody doing this. And then after all that, you still delay the phone call more by running forward. You should be answering this on the main road. Let's see how much time you lose. You should be getting out and answering it now. One, two, three, four, five, six seconds. No reason. And you are just gonna be stood at the Printworks marker, standing there like an idiot waiting for the phone call to finish when you could have just answered it one two three four five six seven seconds just sat there doing nothing please Please. On your next PB, I want to see calls answered as soon as possible. No exceptions. Also, there is no need to mash F there. Tommy gets out automatically. You don't need to press anything. You just gotta relax. You're just spamming keys for no reason.
Nice swing. I respect that. There's no need to slow down to hit the swing. You can still, like, prime it up and still run. But, yeah, good enough. That was decent. If you if you're gonna do this like this level, uh, the kind of higher level insta passes though, where you're not holding the call and whatnot, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't just be throwing the bike into the corner. Um, I don't see the reason for slowing down. Again, it's just like losing you a couple of seconds per time. I don't know why you don't just fling the bike here and go and pick it up. Uh, I'd recommend like learning that next, because you seem comfortable enough with the the insta passes here. Wait a second. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm not going insane here. I wasn't going insane. You only need to do this five times. I I hope you don't do it more than six. Okay. 
only do it five times. <laughs> Maybe you forgot. Maybe you lost count halfway through or something. I don't know, but yeah. Six is uh, unnecessary. What on earth? Okay. What happened here? What? You didn't press F2. I guess you pressed it here? You pressed F1? What? What? I'm so confused. Why did you do that? I okay. I, I this is this is the worst offender by far. Okay. This mission is on a timer, right? This this mission is is on a fucking timer, and the. The, oh my god, it is it is real time, X amount of seconds that pass from when you start the mission until she lands and you can kill her and you can pass the mission. Why in the fuck are you watching a replay? It is the only way to make sure that that helicopter stays in the air for as long as possible. What are you doing here? I have never seen anyone do this. I don't know where you got this from, if it's your own strat or something, but this is the opposite of what you should be doing like uh, please just watch my tutorial or watch someone else do it because i have no clue what you are doing here you are just extending the fucking mission timer for no reason like are you trying to give yourself more time the whole point of this is that you are supposed to like make it within the time limit if you can't do it then it means you need more practice like don't just extend the mission timer then you might as well do it the old way. It would be quicker. Like, this is slower now than the old route. This makes zero sense. Like, I can only assume that you deliberately did that in order to give yourself more time to make it here. But that makes no sense. Like, you are, you are doing slower than the slow way to try and get more time to do the fast way. It, it's so out of the realms of logic. Like, I, I'm almost speechless. Stop doing that. Watch some tutorials, please, for the love of God. Like, you just... 15 seconds up in smoke for no reason. Maybe less, maybe 10, but still, it should be zero.
if you are doing this this slowly, you might as well do it the old way. Like, you might as well not do this strat at all. It only saves, like, 10 seconds. If you are gonna take two seconds per shot to shoot, it's slower. You might as well have not bothered. It would have been quicker to just go onto the road and snipe them the other way. Like, this makes no sense. You lost time over not doing it there. Like, you really need to only do these strategies if you're actually, like, confident with them. Because if you're taking 20 seconds to do a strat that only saves 10, what's the point? Answer the phone call. Goodness me, man, what a what a wild ride. <laughs> So, in conclusion, like, PCJ drives, helicopter flights, you need to look at them seriously. And, for God's sake, like, uh, please look up, like, the, the phone call, the management, the routes, and, like, just understand as to how basic this all is. Like, the earlier the answer of, you answer a phone call, the earlier it's going to end. Like, why you're delaying all of these things, why you're playing replays during auto-scrollers... You are just, like, pissing away over a minute for no reason in sections where everyone else is losing no time. Like, this run mechanically is, like, a 54, but the only reason you're so far behind is just because you're losing time when nobody else is. It's super bizarre. So, yeah, like, please relook at my tutorial, whatever, or, like, ask in the Discord. For, like, more specific advice, I suppose. Like, I mean, I, I can help you as well. But, yeah. Like, this is... It, it's, it's so nonsensical. I'm gonna quickly check what time Lance spawned. Seventeen. Okay. Okay, good. I was gonna say if, if you like didn't weren't at the top of the stairs by seventeen, I was gonna be really upset. Really upset. But you, you salvaged that one. Thank God. All right. If I were to give you a grade, this would be like... So, I, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but personally in the UK, like, if you don't get a C or above, you fail. And this would be, like, this would be a, like a D plus. This would be below acceptable, I would say, for this level. Um, 
Because, yeah, like, you, you lost over a minute to players that are beginners. Because you are just doing the most random nonsensical things for no reason during auto-scrollers and during timers where, where like, doing nothing is the optimal approach. And you are just actively sabotaging yourself. It makes absolutely no sense. Um, the rest, like, most of it is where I was silent. It's just where it was mechanically good. Uh, there's not really too much to say. But, like, I don't know why you're handicapping yourself like this. I, I'd like to hope it's unintentional. But, yeah, like, helicopter flying, PCJ driving, you really need to work on because it's something... It's, you have no confidence in what you're doing. Um, and you can tell that you're just, like, stopping and panicking whenever anything kind of stops in your way. And then, yeah, like, please learn how the mission timers work and stuff, because this is, like, this is the strangest submission I've ever seen so far. And you will have, like, a 54 in no time. Uh, but yeah, if you want your run watched, if you're listening out there or watching out there, um, as I said at the start of the video, it doesn't necessarily have to be Vice City, even though everyone submits their no SSU PBs to me, I guess, because this is where my main experience is. But it can be in even another GTA game, and I'll find someone who, are, who is, you know, more qualified than me to talk about it, and we can kind of collab there. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want a run looked at, you can find me on Discord, you know, Twitter, YouTube comments, whatever. Um, and yeah, it's, it's all free. I don't take any, you know, don't take any money for it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you learned something today. Uh, ho hopefully you learned how mission timers work because I was sure to explain it many, many times. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.